Hello everyone, my name is Otobo Edward and today we are going to be looking at practical effects of state changes that is melting, evaporation, vapor pressure, boiling and humidity. Now the following are the lesson objectives for this subject. The states of matter, change of states, factors that influence state change, explain basic state changes of matter. Now we are going to look at the different states of which a matter can exist. That is the solid, the liquid or the gaseous states. All matter can actually change from one state to another. It may require extreme temperatures or extreme pressures, but it can be done. Sometimes it will require a number of tricks applied on a substance to make its state change. But what is done is determined by the state the matter is at the time and the state that is expected of it to change into melting. Melting is a process by which a substance changes from the solid state to the liquid state. There is a special temperature for every substance called the melting point. When a solid reaches the temperature of its melting point, it can become a liquid. For water, the temperature needs to be a little above zero degrees Celsius for it to melt. A typical example is when you take out an ice block from your refrigerator and drop it on a surface. In a matter of time, you see that it begins to change its state from a state to liquid. Evaporation. Evaporation is a process of a substance in a liquid state changing to a gaseous state due to an increase in temperature and of pressure. Evaporation is a fundamental part of the water cycle and is constantly occurring throughout nature. So if you increase the temperature of water, for instance, and the water gets to 100 degrees Celsius, that is its boiling point. If the temperature of that water exceeds 100 degrees Celsius, the water molecules begins to evaporate. It begins to escape. It begins to change its state from the liquid state to a gaseous state. Now, that is evaporation. Vapor pressure. Vapor pressure can be defined as pressure formed by the vapor of the liquid or solid over the surface of the liquid. This pressure is formed in a thermodynamic equilibrium state in a closed container at a certain temperature. Liquid evaporation state is identified by the equilibrium vapor pressure. Now, if the temperature of a liquid is increased, what happens is the molecules lose their bond and they move away from each other and take the shape of the container or they leave the surface of the container entirely. The surface molecules are usually the first ones to evaporate or to vaporize if they have enough kinetic energy. Now, in a closed system, there's always particles that leave the liquid state to gaseous states and they come back to the liquid state because they've lost their kinetic energy due to collision. The vapor state changes will continue to happen until you get to an equilibrium. Here, the pressure is formed by the random molecules that are unable to escape from the container because it is closed. That pressure is called the vapor pressure. Now, the vapor pressure is the pressure created at a given temperature for a given molecule or a substance where there is an equilibrium of molecules evaporating with molecules condensing back to liquid states if the system is closed. Boiling. A good example of boiling is seen when water is heated until it forms steam. 
the boiling point of fresh water at sea level is 212 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius. The bubbles that form in the water contain the vapor phase of water, which is steam. Humidity. Humidity is the concentration of water vapor present in the air. Water vapor, the gaseous state of water, is generally invincible to the human eye, and humidity indicates the likelihood for precipitation, dew, or fog to be present. Now, change of state means physical changes in matter. They are reversible changes that do not involve changes in the matter's chemical properties. Common changes of state include melting, freezing, sublimation, deposition, and vaporization. The diagram to the right illustrates the processes of changing from one state to another and vice versa. Sublimation is changing from solid to gas, while deposition is changing from gas to solid. Melting is changing from the solid phase to a liquid phase, while freezing is changing from the liquid phase back to the solid phase. Evaporation is a change of a liquid to a gaseous state, while condensation is a change of a gas or a molecule in the gaseous to a liquid state.